I don't know that what's needed is conversation. What's needed is policy. Mm-hmm. And that's the real question. What, yeah. what, are the, what policy are we going to have? Um, I don't know that you can legislate integration, but you probably can legislate away like the wealth gap uh, in this country. You, you, can, mm-hmm. you can legislate things like that. Um, so this sort of idea that there's going to be this grand talk right. around a table, uh, accepting this table, <laughs> I'm enjoying my company. <laughs> Which is very not much. at all a grand table. Uh, right, no, it's not grand at all. Um, <laughs> so Holder's speech was a much more sophisticated speech about race because what Obama did was what King Solomon did. He parsed, right? So he said, well, we're going to split the baby down the middle. So black people are to blame, and so are white people. There's a problem there, because black people didn't start um, slavery, and black people didn't um, um, institutionalize Jim Crow. So the idea, if we, if we want to have an honest conversation about race, it's not about parsing and saying, well, we're both to blame, 50-50. So the politics of Katrina are because your mom smoked crack, and George Bush was a jerk. It's 50-50. <laughs> That's just not the truth empirically. We can talk about all the ways in which race is artificial, um, you know, in my classroom, it's a big topic of conversation, and you know, race is all, every, put it all in quotation marks at all times. But it's something that's both very real and very fake. Right, at the same just because time, something is just, a social construction yeah. doesn't mean it's less real. <laughs> when I was a boy, I prayed for straight hair. You have to understand, I grew up on heavy metal, Iron Maiden and Judas Priest to start, then Anthrax and Exodus, Megadeth and Metallica. My friends and I gathered in living rooms and basements and empty lots and banged our heads to Damage Incorporated, and I am the law. If you nearly snapped your neck, you were doing something right. We were a pretty wild mix, a Persian kid, a Korean, a couple of white guys, and me, the only one with a tight curly afro. The rest had straight hair, grown long, and when they thrashed to the music, their hair bounced and whipped like it was supposed to. I'd watch them pull off this casual magic and wish I'd been so blessed, but I was black, and there was no enchantment in that. It actually felt like kind of a curse. I'm so embarrassed to admit any of this. You know, as long as there's a need to organize communities, there will be a form of nationalism that will have racial inflections. That's a great answer. (laughs) I'm struggling to say that. (laughs) That's great.